Hi, in this video we're going to find an expression for the sum of the first m positive integers using um, sigma notation. So if we take, say the sum of the first n positive numbers is 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on up until the one, two numbers just before the last terms, that would be n minus 2 plus n minus 1 plus the last term which is n. And then realising that this could also be written backwards. And this is quite a useful technique. So we've got n, n minus 1, n minus 2, plus 3, plus 2, plus 1. We've got the um, same thing, just written backwards. If we add these two, we're going to get 2sn. So here we're going to get n plus 1, n minus 1, plus 2. And then n minus 2, plus 3, and then so on. We're going to get 3 plus m minus 2, plus 2 plus m minus uh, 1, plus 1, plus n at the end there. Okay, that each of these will give me m plus 1. m minus 1 plus 2 gives me m minus 1. m minus 2 plus 3 gives me m plus 1. So on here. Now, if we have n sets of numbers, then we have added n plus 1 n times. So we need to do, uh, this will become n times n plus 1. And therefore, 2sn is n times n plus 1. But we just wanted to sum uh, one time only, so we'll have to divide by 2 or multiply by a half. So the sum of the first positive integers n integers is going to be a half times n, n plus 1. Now that can be uh, written in sigma notation. So the sigma notation is this uh, sign here. r starts at 1 to n. Okay, if you put 1 in there well, for, uh, for r is equal to 1, you're going to get 1. If you put r as 2 in there, you're going to get 2, and then so on and then up to the last three terms, okay, and that sum is equal to that. So, the sum of the first uh, n positive in, in, integers, or n uh, natural numbers, if you, if you don't include uh, zero as a natural number, r is going to be r to 1, sigma r, n, sigma r from r to 1 to n, is equal to a half of n times n plus 1. This is a result that's worth remembering. We should also note this. If we add up 1 from 1 to n, so that's like doing 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 n times, that's going to be the same as n times 1, which is equal to n. So this one is also worth knowing. The sum of adding up 1 n times is going to be from r to 1 to n is equal to n. So these two are actually worth knowing. So this has been a video to show the expression for finding the sum of the first n positive integers. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.